So if you're looking to create your own book using Canva, you are in the right place. I did this book a few months ago, all on my own using Canva. I think the pages are beautiful, guys. Take a look. So the first step, we're going to go create. I've already logged in. We're going to click on this icon here. And I already know the dimensions that I'm working with, which is 8.75 by 9 inches. So I'm going to plug that in right there and uh, press create new design. And that's going to pop up on a new window where I will do my magic, guys. So I'm searching for the, pic the picture frame, like it's a letter frame that we use, that I'm using for this book. The idea that I'm going for with this book is, you know, to target, you know, people with autism, you know, children with autism. They say that this font is good for them. And so right here, I'm just playing around, you know, just showing you guys some of the features that Canva has. Canva is completely free, guys, but I am, of course, using the pro version. Most of the things that I'm showing you in this video are available with the free version. So we're just going to type in letter frame here and you will see all these things pop up you can be a little bit more specific and type in the actual letter that you want right i'm not gonna go with q but see i'm just putting q here moving it around on the page you can zoom in the page you can zoom out right you can drag the q so that it will be bigger at the at the four corners right there but of course we're gonna start this book off with the letter a so the letter A, I had found the font that I wanted before because, you know, of course, I made this video ahead of time. And um, so, yes, I'm just going through and showing you guys now how, you know, to maximize your font and to reduce it. And I'm looking for the common A. So I already have all these fonts in my recently used folder. So these, this on Canva, guys, it goes months back because I created this this book quite a few months now and it's available on Amazon so these are all the elements so I'm in my elements folder which is on to that side there and this was this is showing all the recent elements that I've used so I'm just minimizing this common letter a just so that it looks a little bit smaller than the actual capital A if you look at um, the screen you'll see those four lines that are actually like kind of like a guide, you know, um, in Canva to show you if you're outside of the lines. But to be real honest, when you're doing these KDP books, because it's going to be available on Amazon, um, the dimensions of the book um, is really your guide. So even though you see those four lines there, you know, it's gonna, I'm gonna put the, the, the letters all over the page, right? You know, cause when they do that, um, measurement, it will, it will work out, right? So here you see, I put the, that little checker thing inside of the frame guys, and you can play around with that. You can, so that it shows different color on another screen. I'll show you how I played around with it so that the colors pop, you know, and show a little bit differently. So I'm searching for in my elements again now, um, well, I'm searching for a text box. So we added text and I'm going to change the font to a Walt Disney font that I add, added to my, um, to my Canva, um, to my Canva profile. So you have the option in, in Canva to actually buy fonts. So you can purchase fonts on a, a site called Creative Fabrica. You can do it on Etsy. You'll get a file and you can upload that file with the fonts to your Canva profile. And of course, Canva is going to ask you if you have the rights to these fonts. And this is just me just typing out, you know, A's for Ant, and as can be, because this book rhymes. So on this page, I'm going to have that little limerick. And then on the next page, um, I'm going to talk about the B's and it's going to rhyme with the A, <laughs> right? So I'm actually searching for a background now, guys. So we are typing in cartoon background, right? So you can type in cartoon background or animated background. 
I think when I was actually doing this book, I had typed in animated background. I've actually used some of these that popped up in some of my other books that I that I have created here with Canva. So you can go ahead, select from here. And um, so I'm still in elements. So when you're doing this, you want to use elements because elements elements will give you different different options at the top here. Whether you want to do graphics, photos, videos, you know, whatever the case might be. So you write, I'm right clicking and I'm setting this picture as a background. This is not the actual picture that I use for the book. But I'm just showing you guys, you know, the different options that are available to you. So I'm just, you can move your text box around the page, wherever you want to go. There will always be these guidelines to show you, you know, the half of the page, you know, just, you know, those lines are there just as a guide. So we're going back into our magic recommendation. Canva does that, guys. When you are selecting a particular item, it gives you other options like in similarly within that category so i'm just going to go in my recently used folder because i have everything here and i'm using this background this is the background that i actually chose for the book and because it's not a picture like this one that is there as a background i can't set it as background i have to drag it across the page so use the four corners right there and drag it and then use your mouse so you're going to set it to the back so that's a right click and then set it to to as background basically that's what you're doing and voila it is like a background you know a background page so you just have to maneuver you know with this with this picture to make it fit on the page as best as you can as i said don't worry about your borders that four lines that's showing you right there because when if you if you put your pictures too far up on your page when you go to add it to amazon in kdp it's going to tell you that the pictures are too far up on the page so you're going to have to drag them down so i have this and these two lovely ants that are you know playful they were already in my recently used folder and but you can search and type in anything that you want so any animal that you want, you can type that into your elements. And um, when you're searching for elements, type that in and Canva will give you many options, guys. So I'm typing the letter frame. I'm doing letter B just so that you guys can see again what I did. So I'm specifically typing in letter B frame at this point. And I'm just selecting my two Bs at this point. And we're going to minimize those using the four corners and if you look when I'm dragging it's showing you it's giving you the height and the width of these letters um, when you're going through if for consistency you can make sure that all of your letters have the same height and the same width so we're just dragging this picture into the actual frame and we can you can click into it double click into that and move it around so that you see the the colors are a little bit different right so i'm basically going to add a background just a little picture and text to this these are the options when i typed in b and i already had my b which is this lovely beautiful b here sitting on a limb i could have gone with this one but i just think the page would have been too crowded for what i'm going for and you know, I'm just going to spread it so that it looks like it's coming from a tree there, from a tree. And that's the finished look with that page, guys. I added the text and I also did, you know, change some colors. So if to change the color, you just click on the, um, the letter there and you can select um, any color that you want to use for your letters individual highlighted. This is what the page is looking like. The pages are looking like, guys. And I think this book turned out really lovely. This was a one-day, two-day project. And um, I think it is simple, easy. If you are, you know, somebody who likes writing and likes children's book, I think this is a, an easy way to create a project really fast. 
you know, if you have the words going already. Yeah, so let's do the cover, guys. Um, the cover is a little bit tricky. So this is what my cover actually looks like, two pages. So the dimensions for this, I have the dimensions right here, which is 17.344 and 8 by 8.75. And that's in inches, guys. I got this, the dimensions. You can either get it from Amazon KDP's website or a website called Book How. I'll link those below. See here, I'm just showing you that I basically just have some pictures that I put together to create the cover. And uh, that's a text box that I used to um, just drop and put everything together, guys. So I think all in all, this came out really lovely. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. If you like this type of content, please remember to subscribe to my page. I will be showing you lots more how to make your books online, how to create your websites and all of that. So I got this template from Book How, a website called Book How. And basically what I'm doing here is just making sure that all of my, 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 the spine of my book is in place. That's very critical guys, because if that's not in place, so I just turn down the transparency to see if everything is in alignment. So the spine of that template matches with the spine of the, the actual book that I have. And that's how I did. <music>